Hi there. Thank you for visiting my channel. And I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of uh, the materials we will be using for my first grader as well as my kindergartner uh, for uh, language arts for this coming year. So this pile is for my first grader and this is my kindergartner. Uh, so first of all, this is like a journal. So I'm thinking um, I bought two of these. So one I will use for after we get back from our co-op on Fridays. Um, on Saturday or Friday afternoon, they will draw a picture of what they learned and write something about it. So that way they rem I want to see what they remember and then we can look back and review it. So that's something I got two of these. So one I will use after reading um, certain books once or twice a week. She will draw a picture and write about um, a book that she really liked and what she liked about it. So that's that. This we already started using because we started school this Monday. So this is, um, I got from, it's uh, from Scholastic. It's grade one, reading comprehension and fluency. Um, so far it's been fairly very easy. So we'll see how it goes, how it progresses. Um, but so far we've done like, I don't know, like two or three lessons on it. So, it says 30 reproducible high interest reading for kids to read aloud at home with companion activities. It's kind of nice how it kind of gives you like a teacher, uh, like a, you know, lets me know what to focus on. Um, so that, that was something good. The stories are kind of very easy. So um, I'm hoping, well, it looks like it kind of gets longer. So... We'll see how she does. Uh, if we finish this, then we'll just uh, uh, get the grade uh, two if she still enjoys it. And then I will come back to this. Then we have this. Uh, I got Scholastic first grade. Um, I got this from Costco, so it was like $7.49. It includes math, reading, writing, grammar, maps. But the reasons I got this for is basically for reading and grammar. And so you could see here, it says reading comprehension. So you read a story similar to this one, but um, I just got two in case she gets bored of that one, then she can try this one. And then it has writing and then it has grammar. Where's the grammar? Uh, da, 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 grammar so it's kind of nice um, it's still kind of like easy so uh, I will probably get something else to supplement it once we finish this um, but that's that and then it has writing so we'll try this then I have the Oak Meadows first grade syllabus um, and the fairy tale stories um, Going through it second time, it seems like uh, it's fairly, very, very easy. And I know that's their kind of like their theme. Um, so I'll use some of it, but not all of it. Um, my daughter really likes fairy tale and princess and everything. So that's one of the reason I, um, that's one of the reasons I got this. Um, so we'll try it. But I don't know, um, it won't be like a full curriculum. So I have the syllabus that kind of, it kind of lays it out for you, which is what I had initially liked. But then when I started reading more into it, it's really too easy. So, but it's nice how it kind of lays out for you. Like it tells you lesson one, it kind of tells you how to, do circle time and then language arts and it then moves on to math and social studies and science so it's nice but maybe I should have gotten like maybe I should get grade two and try it out um, but you know we'll try it and see how how my if my first grader doesn't like it maybe my kindergartner will like it so we'll try that with them so that's that then I have all about spelling. That would be our spelling. Um, so uh, we did all about reading level one in my 
oldest had a hard time and I want to do a different video for that um, where I explain what the what we went through um, and how it kind of clicked she kind of uh, graded out of the level two and she was kind of level three but then now I didn't want to go back to all about reading I wanted to go into all about spelling she naturally is spelling good now as she's you know all about reading is mostly as a background all about reading is mostly reading fanatically so I didn't teach her really sight words as much there were few that they threw in but they she really picked up the sight words from just reading um, just us reading a lot she picked up the sight words so I didn't she wasn't really into one of those sight word videos she wasn't you know like didn't really like you know playing games with sight word with index card so she just really picked up the sight words just by us reading and that's what really worked for her and the same way because she learned how to read fanatically more than sight words she has naturally become a good speller but we will still start with all about spelling level one i got level two as well in case we finish through level one quickly and um, I think my little smarty pants, she has some videos. Um, I haven't really started the spelling portion of this yet. I've just kind of um, had her, you know, tell me the write the words, um, type the words um, that she needs to do. Um, but uh, my little smart, smarty pants has a, a video testimonial of um, how she used it. And so that's that. So we'll, we'll use all about spelling for spelling. And then uh, we have this. Uh, it's reading, writing. Uh, this is too easy. So my, uh, um, I will use this with my kindergartner. So um, that's for my first grader. And these are kind of, okay, no, I didn't, sorry. <laughs> okay. So I got the draw right now. We're going through the uh, geography lessons of uh, uh, America. So they're good. she'll be learning all the states. And this will be something good to kind of do, like draw and then write a little bit about it. And I think she'll enjoy it. So that's what it is. Draw right now. And then I got this. This also I got an idea from my little smarty pants. I think she uses the vocabulary for uh, I couldn't find the first grade vocabulary, just the book on Amazon. But they had this, which has spelling, vocab, math, all these games. And this is what we will supplement with. Um, I will mostly use this for vocabulary. We might throw in spelling here and there to just mix it up. Um, but these are like, you know, different, different games to make it kind of fun and not be boring. So, um, so I don't have to come up with lots of ideas to make it, you know, different. If we do the same thing every week. It will kind of get boring and get boring for me too. Uh, these I picked up from a, like a homeschool resale sale that they had. Um, so I saw this and it was fairly cheap. I, I think I picked it up for like a dollar and it has all these magnetic. Um, I have the all about reading, all about spelling magnetic um, Montessori style where the consonants are blue and the uh, vowels are red. But I saw this and it never hurt. So, you know, it's kind of fun to play around. So I got this. So we'll supplement with it. I uh, got this from Five Below, Reading Comprehension. So another one that we'll supplement with spelling puzzles, grade one. I don't know if I picked it up from Dollar Tree or somewhere. I'm not sure. Somewhere I picked it up. So she's done some of these. It's fun. This I picked up uh, from someone that was selling it on Facebook. And I think I picked it up for like a dollar or two or I'm not really sure. Um, I tried it, but it didn't seem, after I got it, didn't really seem, um, that interesting. So we'll try it out. We'll supplement with it, but it won't be my main spelling curriculum. 
And then when I was at the homeschool convention in Orlando this year, um, I picked up the workbook, so which I might not use. So I don't know. I guess I'll try to sell it. Then this was 50 cents spelling by, I think, BJU Press. And I will also try to, I don't have the workbook for it, but, you know, it's just different ideas. So these will be all supplement. So I'll pick ideas from it. Then moving on to my kindergartner, she will be doing what her sister did, which is all about reading level one. She is really doing well. She's able to um, blend very well. We're almost done with the first book. So um, there's three books. There is another book, The Run to Pig, that I don't know where I put it away. So um, there's three of these readers that they finish, and then they kind of go. And I really like this because this has really been a miracle for me. So I will do a video for that. But as you can see, it kind of works like how, um, how to teach your kid how to read in 100 easy lessons. But this is like it comes with a reader. It's a little, it comes with like you have games that, you know, you can pick up, make. So it's more fun and it worked really well for my oldest. And it's been working really well for my youngest. So, um, and I think they um, specialize in like sensorial type of learning and it's good, like a Montessori style you know, child-led, so it's really good, I, I really, I, this has, like, been my miracle, so I really love this, then, um, I have this, I think I picked it up from a teacher store, I believe, uh, if I can remember, I don't remember, I got this a long time ago, but these are kind of, like, stories that kind of helps you build out your story, you read a little bit, and I, I thought I will try this with my, you can kind of make a mini book, so it's kind of fun. So I'm going to try this with my youngest. And my oldest will be there too. They're there. So. And then everyday literacy, listening, and speaking. It says great pre-K. Um, I didn't use it, so I might use it with my youngest. And just see how it goes. So there's some games and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll play. So I'll do this with her my youngest, my kindergartner. Then we have some games that we like to play sometimes. So this is Hangman, and it's really cool. We read a story. I think of a word. She tries to do, you know, figure it out, and it's been fun. So we do this for spelling, reading comprehension, kind of like remembering certain things that she might not remember. So I test it out. So that's been Hangman. She really, she really likes this comes up with different ways to um, make words. So this has been good. She enjoys it. She even sometimes plays by herself. Super Y, this is something for a little younger kids, but it's been good to play with my uh, young, my younger daughter, at my kindergartner and my first grade. They can play together without me being there. So Super Y letter game, it kind of like sounds out. And so that's been fun. Um, this I got from the convention. I'm not in love with it. Um, it's okay. It's kind of boring, but my daughter loves it. So that's what matters. Um, I play with her and, you know, she, she, she likes it. So, um, I can't open it for now, but, um, maybe I'll do a video of it. If she plays it, I'll make a video of her playing. So that's called Spell Trek. Then I had showed on my math video, uh, we got this for reading. Um, it's the Frog Classroom Learning Set. You have like variety of um, game boards that you can pick. So each week you can pick a certain one. You have game piece. Then you have these kind of different, um, you know, different... Uh, rhyming animal rhymes colors and then you have like middles tricky middles word family all around it's kind of easy for my oldest but my oldest and youngest we played together and it's been fun so we play it like once a week we play it 
and it's been um, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, so um, that's what we sometimes if we have done a lot of book work or if we've done and I, I didn't come up with something, you know, very fun, then these are things we supplement with. I have more games, but um, these are really just kind of like more language arts related. So um, this is everything that we will attempt to use. I'm sure, you know, six months into it, I'll probably love something. I will probably hate something or I'll probably get something else to supplement it depending on how my daughters are um, doing. Uh, so uh, maybe in midpoint, I'll do another video to say what we loved, what we didn't like, what we changed out. Maybe that will be a good um, learning experience. This has all been a learning experience. I'm really excited about this year. Last year I was very nervous, but this year I'm very excited. So, um, so I just wanted to share with you guys what we will be using. I've gotten a lot of responses and I've seen a lot of videos from others and I really, really love looking at what other people are using and getting ideas from it. So I thought, hey, why not share mine? Uh, so this is what our language arts is. And I will do a follow-up video of um, me kind of telling you guys what has worked for me as far as reading. All of our reading is what worked for us, but you know, there are things that, you know, we changed out. So I'll just give you some um, ideas. And so I'll do a video on that. And I will also do another video on our geography science um, stuff we will be using. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.